Oh crap. Oh no. Hmm. What the What are you doing? Hello. Did you not read this article about how the experiences of your ancestors can be passed down through genes or something? AKA Assassin's Creed is real. Wait, weren't your parents chicken farmers? Yes, but maybe before them, a family of assassins. I assume you're referring to the Nature Neuroscience paper that was published in December of 2013. Yes, or as the lay people know it, the Assassin's Creed is real paper. <sighs> so this paper is a great example of the emerging field of epigenetics, which is the study of heritable changes in gene activity that are not caused by changes in the DNA sequence. It says you raining on my parade. It says you raining on my parade, isn't it? Scientists found that by exposing male mice to a certain smell, and then startling them, that those mice's offspring would have an aversion to that same smell. And then those mice's offspring would still have an aversion to that same smell. How does that work? In the paper, they talk about methylation. Basically, a little organic molecule, known as a methyl group, can physically attach to DNA and block proteins from turning that gene on. In the paper, these methyl groups were getting removed from genes that deal with the detection of smell in the brain. This was also happening in the dad's sperm, which meant his offspring would express more of that gene, which would make them more sensitive and react stronger to the smell. But like, how does his brain getting scared change up his sperm? We don't know exactly, but we do know it happens. Glomerulus, which is a section of the brain that detects smell, was significantly bigger in the offspring of the scared dad mice. The paper speculates that maybe the chemicals of the smell are getting into the bloodstream and somehow affecting the dad's sperm, which eventually affected the offspring. They tested three generations to prove that it was the genetic, not the chemical effect, that was changing the mouse behavior. So more experimentation is needed. Exactly. Before Assassin's Creed is real. Hmm. Yes. It's important to note that because sperm is constantly regenerating in males, it's only the male mice that passed on the effects. So if you, by some miracle, have children one day, and they're a little weird from the get-go, it might be your fault. Well, I guess they're not going to be learning my sweet knife skills. Ha! Ha ha! Well, I wonder if... Hmm? Huh? <gasps> Here, what does this do for you? <gasps> Get that away from me! <laughs> huh. Interesting. 